Christine Beyer here, licensed master statistician for 20 years. And why do we lift and hold? What is lift and hold? Stay tuned and you'll find out. So y'all know I've been doing this for a long time and microcurrent is still my favorite. One of the concepts in microcurrent is the same thing that's found in Pilates, exercise, doing high intensity interval training. We lift and hold, just like when you lift and hold like this and see how much better you look. That's why we lift and hold. So let me show you what I'm talking about. You ever wanted to lift and hold the muscles on your face? This is how you do it. This is the easy way to do it without causing extra wrinkles. Facial exercises are great, but for me, I don't want to contort my face and etch lines deeper into my face to lift my face. So let me show you an easier way. You'll need a little conductive gel. This is my fave, the Hydra Lift. But you can use anything that conducts. Lifting and holding, there's science behind it. And I heard from an esthetician lately who was belly aching about the lift and hold and look I understand I've done Pilates I know about the hundred <laughs> has anybody ever done the hundred oh my god the hundred so the hundred is basically you basically put yourself into a position and then you flutter your arms and it is you really have to engage your core I'm actually holding a little longer than normal this machine beeps every 10 seconds so we wait for it to start beeping. And then this is gonna give me 10 seconds until it gets to the top. And so when I'm done with this move, I've lifted and I'm holding. See, that's all there is to it. Lift. Hold. And I know in a lot of these videos, I will motor through this, but the truth is that hold is imperative. And let me tell you why. Biotherapeutic, they say at the top of the hold, well, for the entire glide movement, it needs to be 24 seconds. And what happens is usually you get to the end of the move and you got a whole lot of seconds left. So you end up lifting and holding. And let me tell you, that is valuable because Anytime you're reinforcing the scaffolding or the border of your face, you are reinforcing all the muscles of the face. So lift and hold is important because of that, but it's also really working those muscle fibers. I don't know about other machines, but this one, the mini goes through many different frequencies. And what that means is it oscillates back and forth the current at different rates. And so when that wave is shorter and longer, shorter and longer, it goes deeper and lighter, deeper and, whoop, look, look, I'm doing it already. I just, okay, I'm talking about lift and hold, lift and hold. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do lift and hold. We're gonna wait for the beep. Okay, now we're gonna lift and hold. I start talking and I just wanna go, go, go. So I understand. So this is ramping through all these different frequencies and it's going to be really working those muscles that hold up the scaffolding of our face. So, and Biotherapeutic says 24 seconds. Try that, try that. <laughs> this is just 10. So what's important, whoop, there I go Yeah. What's important, God, this is hard. This is like a test of, of patience. So what's important is that concentrated holding time at the top, because it's really gonna pull everything up. So I'm gonna do one side of my face and I'm gonna let you see how much lift and hold actually is valuable and how it works. Yeah, the 24 seconds with biotherapeutic is a killer, especially if you're an esthetician, you're working on a client. It can be brutal. But it's worth it. And if you think about when you do high intensity interval training and you do two minutes of the high intensity part that gets the heart, which is a muscle, 
to do an intense sort of a contraction. I mean, it's 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 pumping. So it's doing an intense job for two minutes and then it gets a rest. And so it's essentially the same thing with microcurrent where we are lifting and holding and at the top of that we're, we're intensely working an area. Now you can absolutely linger in certain areas but it's really really important that your skin is just saturated. You can't do the lift and hold without being saturated otherwise you can get what's called sparking and it's not pleasant. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> And, and sometimes I'll have people that go like this up into the hairline and that, that's gonna hurt. You wanna make sure that you're going in the direction that you want that hold to happen. So it does pay to get a chart of the muscles. Just go to Google and Google facial muscle chart. Now I've done my lift and hold. I'm just gonna motor through here a little bit because I see some bound up muscles and everybody knows if you watch my channel it's not all about just a cream that's not going to get your face in the best shape so i invite you to subscribe look back at some of my old videos about how to release your face because there's no cream that's going to go in and release a tight muscle the gals in my club they know they have to do release work in addition to lifting work in addition to high quality products with high levels of actives you got to give the skin what it needs. This helps with nasal labial folds. This helps with these lines we get here. And there's another move for that as well. So, so yeah, lift and hold is important. It's important in exercise. It's important in working your muscles with microcurrent. And if you're in a real hurry, <laughs> you lift and hold two at once. Now in the instructions, it says to do each move three times. Let's do it. It just started and we're holding. <laughs> and it can get it can get tedious, but you know, I love just doing this in front of the TV. If you read TV or if you watch TV, read TV. I'm a big reader. I'm a big researcher. Now if you have issues, thyroid issues, you really want to avoid the neck or you could just do like the sides of it up underneath the jaw where you're pointing upward and not getting the neck. Now, I know most women past 40 want to work on their neck, but really you need to check with your doctor if you're doing any microcurrent on your neck or the thyroid area. Now, to tell you the truth, it's I've never had anybody have any issues with it. In the 20 years, never had any cancer causing <laughs> nothing nothing with microcurrent it's just so gentle now on my neck i only go sideways because i feel like going up and down makes my platysma just heavier the problem with that is oh, I forgot this one doesn't have the platysma. <laughs> platysma, make sure you guys can see this. It is a sheath muscle, sort of like this, it's a sheath. And so it goes like this and down like this. And when you get that platysma banding, that's the band itself has folded over itself due to just excess tissue that no longer has the fat or the collagen in it to to hold it back up where it was in our 20s. We get this slow degradation of fat and everything sort of falls down and we get this folding over and 
Most people have it. You look at anybody in their 70s and they've got, they've got that, unless they've had it removed. For me, going laterally on my neck or sideways works best. I had my eyebrows done, so it's harder to see the asymmetry, but this is the eye that's usually droopy, I think. Anyway, this eye is up there. You can see. I hope you can see. It looks more alive anyway. The lift and hold is important because it's kind of like the curl at the top of a rep, the top of the rep. And so just important to hold. So we're lifting and holding, just like we lift and hold by our in front of our ear to see how we'd look if we did a facelift. <laughs> there you go. That's why we lift and hold. And everybody always asks me, why do you go so fast, Christine, in your videos, if this is important? I think for the sake of the video, because this is not very exciting. A really proper microcurrent treatment is like a proper weightlifting session where you do enough reps. Look, I'm going too fast again. Where you go enough reps. It's just wise. <laughs> and then we'll go up. And I'm gonna lift this right eye. Now they're not beeping in unison, so I'm in trouble. But hey, what are you gonna do? It's hard to get that. Just holding at the top. Jowls. You see how they sort of start to get back in sync when you do the 10 seconds. If you ever have a problem with your mini and you think it's it's not working right, it's because you're going too fast. <laughs> and that's probably my fault because I've gone too fast in videos forever. The Claire Bloom people want to kill me. So that's it, that's why we lift and hold. It's that, that top of the curl, it's the high intensity workout where you're doing two minutes of high intensity and give yourself a rest. It is really working the muscle fibers at the top of the move that gives us the best lift. So this is still one of my favorite tools to keep the face lifted and everything where it should be. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you on my team and start your skincare journey with me because there's a lot of moving parts with anti-aging and I do believe that we can start anti-aging at any point. It's never too late. So welcome and I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.